Here I am. Now, if you don't know this place, congratulations. Jackson, Jackson, Tennessee. Now that's uh, it's in between uh, Nashville and uh, Memphis. And Rockin' Dough Pizza and Brewing Company. Bump, 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 bump. And they have a wellness center. So all the pizza and beer, burn it off. Pizza and beer, burn it off. Please hold for table. Should be open. I wear my soon. Oh, cool. Good. Is there a spot at the bar? Uh, you can if that's where you would like to see it. Might as well talk to people. <laughs> So there's the list of beers. Hopefully you can come through. But the interesting thing is they have the Scottish Shale, Highlander Comp Fire. What I went with is the Strawberry Light Bottle. It's a uh, blonde ale with strawberry. I mean, rather go with the regular strawberry, regular blonde ale. I just wanted that extra strawberry tint to it. And it's there. It's a very good blonde, light, easy to drink. Strawberry flavor really makes it very refreshing. But as for food, obviously they're a pizza place. Pizza, greens, wraps, pasta, encore, burgers, grinders, yeah. Cuban firebird openers, no one cares. So, probably going pizza. And more beer. So here we got the Highland Campfire, Scottish Ale. The Scottish Ale is actually based on a one bar up in uh, like Edinburgh. The guy came back and just said this is what they were making, and then became Scottish Ale. As for what it actually tastes like, who knows? A lot of the brews are, a lot of the styles are based on thoughts. No accurate description of what it tastes like really remains. Just kind of like metaphorical things. Oh, it rolled on the top. It was so good. In fact, in the beginning, like all the additives were to uh, like hops and uh, uh, herbs or whatnot were actually added, not to preserve beer, but were to mask the uh, disgusting flavors from like bacterial infections and poor yeast to uh, help. So that's what they were actually for. Mm -hmm. Good. A little spicier than uh, you know your pills and whatnot. Thicker, more robust. Real good. It tastes really good. Because they have more caramelized malt. malt. That, that puts more into it. Mm. It's good. Well, they, they do pizza, but I don't see what's the problem with getting a calzone. This is the carnivore calzone. And it, it has beef, pepperoni, bacon, and sausage. Yep. So, should be a good eat. Hopefully. For a growing boy. Out rather than up. So, right now I have Sons of Citrus, which is a pale wheat ale. No. I guess it's a pale ale made out of wheat. That would be my guess. But it's clear, so they're filtering it quite well. Okay, normally pale ales are pretty sharp. This is also pretty sharp. Wheat does have a wheat taste to it. More complexity than most pale ales. And kind of a a sharper citrusy note with some kind of those wheat highlights I guess the best I can explain it so it works out pretty well it's, a, it's an interesting group yep definitely definitely interesting definitely definitely interesting all hail the king imperial IPA Oh, well, that packs a punch. It's gritty, so it's got like like unfiltered, so there's like texture there. You can taste the alcohol in it. Not over, 
overpowering hot wise, so it's, it's easy drinking. This is something you can sit down and probably drink five, six of in a night, and not and also wonder why you're waking up in the floor. Someone could sneak up on you. Mm, this is good, tasty. Especially like the kind of unfiltered nature of it, kind of gives it a lot more texture on it. Especially like the feel as, it, as you drink it. As it is, it's uh, nice, cool, refreshing. I do like the uh, odor's not that great. I mean, odor is kind of moated, not really carbonated, which helps it, I think. I wouldn't want something I would bourbon a lot with. That's good stuff. I like it. A plus. That should win awards, but then again, I wouldn't be allowed to vote because I would do it correctly. the cross like it's a sport. I guess for when it gets really busy. Rack and dough pizza brewery. Check it out, sister. All in all, a great place. I really do like it. The calzone was awesome. Um, I, I really liked the calzone. It hit the spot for me right then and there. Oh, and it's right in the middle of uh, Jackson, Tennessee. A nice little spot. I mean. This place is actually prime real estate, if you think about it, uh, for a traveler. You're not in Memphis. You're not in Nashville. So you have the benefit of, like, kind of a, a medium-sized city, so it's cheaper. Save a bunch of money by staying here versus going to uh, uh, Memphis. I didn't uh, hit Memphis uh, this, today because there was a storm coming up through there. And then it would have taken me longer. I didn't want to hit Memphis during a thunderstorm and rush hour. So instead I'm Jackson and I'm getting none of that. And I'm gonna make sure to hit uh, Memphis tomorrow just after rush hour. So that should work all great. I do like this town. 